<laughs> Quiet. I still don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> I hope I'm not. I hope they can't hear me. <laughs> Hello, good evening, and welcome back to the gathering in quarantine. Hi, Mike. Hey, Terry, welcome back. I know, it's been a long two months. <laughs> I, and, and let me be the first to say on television, Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. And may it be a lot better than last year. Oh, you know what? It can't get much worse, can it? <laughs> you know, every time you say that, it does. So let's not. <laughs> I'm with you. Yeah, so I want to welcome everybody. Hello. And thanks for joining in because... Tonight is a very special show of the gathering in quarantine. We're going to start a segment of Terry's travels. And what better timing because people aren't traveling, right? Right. Nobody's going anywhere. Nobody. Right. We, can't, we can't go anywhere. The whole country's red. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. So I've been to 39 places in the world. That includes the states and some countries I've been to three or four different places. And, you know, each place has its own, each region has its own cuisine right. pretty much. So I figured out, you know, if you were to take 79 shows by every other week, we'd be good for three years. I can make that work. We could make that well, work. What are, you, what are you doing the next three years? <laughs> that's right. That's right. Uh, getting ready to retire. There you go. <laughs> Most definitely. But um, as you can tell by Mike's backdrop, tonight's dinner is a Swiss dinner. And that's perfect because, you know, there are a lot of mountains in Switzerland. Yeah, there are. I've got my Alpine sweater on. My white pants, even though it's uh, beyond Labor Day, it was like, I'm sorry, I'm back in Switzerland, right? Why not? Why and not? Tonight's menu, we're going to be preparing a Swiss green salad, baked chicken lucerne, tomato tarta tatin, and we're going to finish it off with a Toberlone mousse. So, well, we I'm glad I had, when I was talking in between shows and we were talking to our audience that was waiting for the show to start, um, I was telling Tom what we had on the menu for tonight. And I can't believe this, I did pronounce everything correctly. There <laughs> you, you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Awesome. So for the Toblerone, Toblerone mousse, we have two bars of Toblerone. We have one chocolate flake bar, kind of like a Nestle bar, but I got a cocoa bar, which is pretty nice. And I hand grated it. And then I have two containers of Cool Whip here. Now you can make your own whipped cream, but you know, I work today. So I had a race home and I thought Cool Whip would be perfect just for, you know, for this. So when you travel throughout Europe, all over the place, you see these airports, shops, uh, everywhere you go. And this is what it looks like when you open it up. Hotel rooms, they all have them in the mini bars. Um, it is a Swiss chocolate bar with honey and almonds. So I wanted to keep one in the package so I can share that with you. And you can see it's like very nicely wrapped in this thin foil. They're really making you work for it, right? Oh, absolutely. And, and you know, if you're used to having chocolates from around the world, uh, which it's easy to get these days. You can get them from anywhere. That's right. Uh, not like your regular Hershey's bar here in, in the good old U.S. of A. That's true. That is chocolate. absolutely true. Switzerland is known for their chocolate. So uh, so here you go. I thought this would be a perfect recipe. I'm going to start microwaving this to melt it 20 seconds at a time 
in the microwave. Now, you know me, baking's not my forte, right? Right, we know that. So we do know that. <laughs> so I'm not going to uh, mess around too much with it. And so now, so basically this here mousse, we, of course it's a Toblerone mousse because you're using the Toblerone uh, candy bar, but you can make a Snickers mousse and use a Snickers bar or you can make a, right? It's this- A Milky is, Way. A mil yeah, if we were gonna do a show about outer space, you could have used the Milky Way bar. You, Yeah, you wanna go stargazing, there you go. There you go, <laughs> excellent. So that's, yeah. so that's great. So. Uh, so this is nice. I mean, you keep it up because that's the the uh, well known candy of Switzerland, and the it's it's good to know that this mousse can be made with any kind of uh, candy bar that you choose. This is melting really nicely, by the way. Excellent. So and, and, um, and another way you could do that too is in in a uh, in a double pot, right? That's right. That's how I. I it, I'm no extra chocolatier, but I've made many, many <laughs> chocolates over the years with the kids growing up. And, uh, and Susan loved making uh, whoopie pies and chocolate uh, lollipops all the time. So I, I made hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of chocolates over my, <laughs> over my lifetime. I love it. Oh, glad to hear. What fun, huh? I, yeah, it was great. I mean, it was, uh, I got into the ones that, you know, you paint the chocolate into the mold, let it stick in the freezer, and then you add some more. And I, I like building it up like that. It's not just like pull the straight chocolate into the hat shape or the egg shape. Um, when you got to paint figures like Santa Claus as a snowman or something like that, you, you paint on with the chocolate first. That, that, that was my kind of fun that I had. Love it, love it. So you can see this melted really wow. nicely. Sure did. Right? So and there's a reason and there's a reason why you did 20 seconds at a time too. Can you explain that? Yeah, because you don't want it to burn. Yeah, you don't want to you're not cooking it. You're just melting it. That's right. <laughs> and that's right. And there's no there's no step past that except burning it. And burnt chocolate is not tasty at all. That's right. So just let me get rid of this. Yeah. And then you're going to fold in the Toblerone into this bowl of Cool Whip. And you can see it's just blending. Yeah. Really. Right. You're, not, you're not stirring, you're folding, which means you're just doing it like it mix it in layers. Right. Yeah. Perfect. Yep. Oh, right now, I, I, I would be saying, give me that spatula right now. <laughs> Yep. Okay, so there you have that. Yeah. You see the bottom it's still looking pretty good. So we're going to pour this into a nice dessert. And then you'll have some parts that are just a little more chocolatey, which I'm sure no one will complain about. You're not going to get a single complaint from me, that's for sure. Right. So that's the first layer. Oh boy. Ooh. <laughs> so uh, looks really good. And then we're going to top it with the plain. Yeah. So you actually have two layers. And you better like whipped cream. That's and, it. <laughs> and here's the thing about the Swiss, right? It's such <laughs> it's it's so simple. Things are so simple and plain and delicious. Put these over here. Um, you'll see with these recipes. Yeah. Sounds so, fun. and now yep. we're just yep. going to drizzle that. Now, what I did was I hand grated this um, cocoa chocolate kind crunch bar flake bar yeah yep and uh and there you have it nice and simple so now we're just going to put this in the fridge excellent pretty good huh 
Very cool. Now, little oh. fun, little fun fact about Cool Whip. Growing up in the seventies. That was basically everyone's original Tupperware container. <laughs> Everyone saved the Cool Whip. And it was funny, when you're going for leftovers, you'd have like four of them in the fridge, and you had to open up every single one just to see what was saved in it. <laughs> yep, yep. I remember those days, Mike. Oh, boy. Almost like it was yesterday. <laughs> now it's on to the tomato tarta tartin. And... Once I get this going, it's it's a it's a funny little story. But let me tell you what I have here. I have two pounds of plum tomatoes. And what I did was I baked them for two hours in a 275 degree oven. So they get nice and wrinkly, as you can see. Right. And then I I did put salt and pepper on there. I have three tablespoons of white sugar three tablespoons of red wine vinegar. I have a quarter cup of olive oil. I have two cloves of garlic chopped. I have one teaspoon of dried parsley, one teaspoon of dried thyme. And I just love how it smells. <laughs> I have three red onions thinly sliced. Yep. I have, um, two tablespoons of water, and I have two tablespoons right here of, um, of the butter. So what I'm going to do, I have this cast iron pan. I'm using two of them. I'm going to caramelize the sugar, and then I'm going to deglaze it with the vinegar. So I'm going to put this in here. Now I don't have anything in this pan, okay? okay. Yep. And I'm using a spurtle. I don't know if anyone knows what spurtles are. Yeah, what's a spurtle? A spurtle, they're wooden utensils. Okay. That are very handy throughout the kitchen and you can um, Use them on nonstick pans and they won't hurt the pan. Oh, there you go. Great. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. um, okay. So I'm going to keep this here because I'm going to put, once this gets going, and it is heating, I'm going to heat up this other pan, get that hot because once we caramelize the sugar with the vinegar, we're gonna add the herbs to it, and then I'm gonna caramelize the onions. Oh, all right. Okay. And this is, this is on high heat, so it'll take a little bit. And I guess while that's going, I'm going to throw the onions in and I'm going to put the um, the butter in in this one. That's what we'll do there. And we'll melt this. We'll get the onions going just so we can move right along. Okay, now the sugar is starting to caramelize. It's starting to get a little clumpy yep. and it's melting. It's beautiful. Now I didn't put anything in the cast iron pan and nothing is sticking. It's beautiful. That's great. It's really nice. Uh, I love I love a good cast iron pan. Yep. It's so good. So Terry, okay. what was it that you went to uh, Switzerland? I went to Switzerland. Um, it was a three week European tour. Wow. I'm going to add this. I'm adding, as you can hear it, I am adding the vinegar. And I'm just going to turn this down a bit because 
It is getting a little hard. Yep. And we don't want that. So I'm just going to turn down the heat and deglaze the pan. Get that going. Then I'm going to take my onions and put them in the other pan. And start these. Okay. So this is a little clumpy. I'm going to turn this off and bring this, as you can see, it's got a little. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. So now to this, we're going to add the olive oil and the garlic. And the herbs. Now, put these over here. Just want to keep this going. This will take a little bit, but it is on high heat. <laughs> so that's good. Now we come back over here. We mix up everything that's in here. And this smells really nice. Oh, I'm sure it does. So you can see? Yeah. I don't know if you can see, it's kind of like a, a syrupy glaze. Okay. Um, let me move this. Okay, I'm going to take the tomatoes and put them whole in the pan. Now you can cut them. I'm leaving them whole okay. for the presentation. We'll see how that, uh, that comes up. And I'm just going to Press them down just a bit. Okay. That's good. And we get back to the onions. These are beautiful. Now the history of the dish yep. was invented in France near Paris at a hotel run by two unmarried sisters. The Tatin, Tatin sisters. And one as they say, one was a very good cook, but she wasn't all that bright. <laughs> <laughs> and one day during hunting season, she made an apple cake, pie, apple pie, and she put it in the oven the wrong way. <laughs> and so when she took it out, she saw what she did. She turned it upside down and served it to the guests. And the guests loved it. So that's how upside down cakes became to be. That's funny. Isn't that funny? That's amazing. I was, I was always wondered about that. <laughs> I mean, who does that? Yeah. But then again, you know, when you see a lot of combinations of food, you, you think, who was the first person that would say, oh, I got to eat that seaweed or, hey, I got to, you know, try this. Or, I got to try that. You know, it's. It, it's crazy, you know, someone someone had to be first. Yeah, and it's kind of like makes you think about, you know, the first lobster. Right. 
it's like I'm gonna add the water to deglaze yeah. the onions. Get that going. Okay. So I also have puff pastry here. And this was frozen. Yeah. And now it's thawed. <laughs> and coming from a non baker, it's my, my cup of tea, right? I get the one, uh, I like the Pillsbury that I could just pop the can open and roll it out. Yep. I'm going to get this going for the next dish, which is the baked chicken lucerne. Yep. And just going to push this over here because we have two chicken breasts. We have one chicken bouillon in boiling water. We have one bag of eight ounces Swiss shredded cheese, one cup of milk. We've got a oh, quarter teaspoon of tarragon and I love tarragon. Yeah, no, you love quarter. your tarragon. <laughs> <laughs> quarter cup of flour and um, and some melted butter. I am going to just get this going here and just keep cooking. So Mike, um, what do you know about Switzerland? Well, you know, I know very, very little, uh, uh, you know, know they're very neutral. <laughs> no, yeah. I do. <laughs> Yeah, no, I know very little of the culture. I know, you know, of course, about the, well, we can talk about their fine uh, precision timing devices. We can talk about their chocolates. Um, and, of course, uh, skiing, you know, the winter sports. They're always amazed, yeah. uh, especially the high jumps, which was always a crazy, crazy sport. Whoever said, I'm going to fly down this hill <laughs> at a high speed and then just jump across something, you know, I don't know. So, um uh, no other than that i've never been to uh europe at all i'd love to go it's on my bucket list uh to make it europe my my uh youngest traveled a whole lot more than me she did the whole european tour you know she went through italy switzerland denmark all over the place spain she she's my world traveler so i, I lived i lived through her <laughs> europe is is really unbelievable and when you look at the map and you look at switzerland and you look at the countries i mean you 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 say that they're neutral look at the countries that surround them right you had right. italy uh germany um france and look at all the trouble and wars that those countries have had right yeah they stay they were able to stay out of it yeah Okay, I'm going to throw the chicken in the pan because these have to get in the oven too. Oh, and of course, uh, you can't forget the cheese. Right, right. <laughs> well, first we have to brown. No, no, I meant, I, you know, talking about some things I know about Switzerland, you know, Swiss cheese. Come oh, on. okay. <laughs> I get it, I get it. Right, let me see, let me put this here. Okay, moving right along. These are caramelizing really nice. These are almost done. And then we'll throw it in. And I have the oven set for 425. Uh -huh. So when this goes in, this is gonna go in for 20, 25 minutes. And I want to say, I want to say we're about there. Let me put this over here. Well, what, some of the fun facts that I, as I prepped for the show and, and learned about Switzerland, which I, I was amazed by because the country is so beautiful. And any, any picture you see, 
is great. And I never realized Switzerland has 700 lakes. Yeah, 7,000. 7,000 lakes. Thank you. 7,000, 7, right. Um, yeah, it's kind of crazy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these onions and put them over the tomatoes. Okay. And I'd pick it up and dump them, but it's a really heavy pan. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 bigger than the one I have. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I did uh, I did have to get a bigger one, you know, because especially when Chelsea comes home. Sure. With Ben, it's like, and you're cooking up those steaks, right? Yep. This one's not gonna cut it. <laughs> Okay, now, and this is cool enough. I'm going to take this and drizzle this over the dish. Incorporate it all in there. Sorry, you can't see. Okay, I'm gonna put this over here. Okay, and then, let that cool off a bit. Then we're going to take the crust and put it right over. That's it. Tuck it in. Set it and forget it. Yeah. Then I'm going to take just a couple of slits. Got to let it breathe. Make me look like a baker, right? <laughs> then I'm going to put this in the oven. Okay, now that's supposed to go 20, 25 minutes. So, okay, it'll be just about time to uh, do that. Let's turn these, uh, these chicken breasts. Those are browning up really good. Now the chicken is going to finish cooking in the oven. Yep. Let me get this out of the way. Okay, I'll leave that there. Okie doke. And once these are browned, that's good. I'm gonna put these in this baking dish, and then I'm going to make the sauce that goes with this, which is kind of a Swiss sauce. Okay. Now, when I went to Switzerland, we, um, we took a train from Florence up to Lucerne, and we were there for a couple of days because we were going to then take the bullet down to Paris. And the bullet is a really fast train. Sure. Yep. Heard, so, heard all about um, it. So we stayed in Lucerne by the lake, a beautiful little town, went to the town. And of course, you know, for lunch, we had fondue, cheese fondue. And it was the first time I had cheese fondue because as you've heard me talked before my parents used to do fondue but they did beef chicken seafood while i'm doing this i'm just going to bring all my ingredients over here i'm going to deglaze the pan with this I'm turn down the heat I'm going to deglaze the pan with the chicken stock chicken bouillon. Get that going. I'm going to put this over here so you can see how nicely the chicken breast came out. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Then I'm going to 
gradually add the flour and stir until that gets nice and bubbly. Okay. And this is turning into like a little paste. Yep. You want to scrape the bottom of the pan. And then you're going to take your milk. And now we're going to make the sauce. So you do it a little bit at a time. I'm going to take my Swiss cheese and my tarragon over here. And huh, maybe a little light on the situation. And this is uh, starting, the milk is starting to work with the flour to make a nice sauce. So anyway, there I was having my first cheese fondue and I just could not believe how good it was. And uh, when I came home, I was making fondue with everything. <laughs> so, every dinner party or gathering I had, it was an appetizer. I mean, it was just always around. It was so good. And then, um, and then of course, we had to have dinner <clears throat> at a German restaurant because, you know, Germany's right there. And we had the, the bratwurst dinner and that was a lot of fun. And of course, good German beer. Okay. But we toured around town in a horse buggy. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. So, you know, and when I say, you know, it was very simple, everything was just, you know, the old town in Lucerne was old, very old and and parts of it was medieval and just beautiful, breathtaking. And then the scenery, all, all the mountains and crisp and clean. Sure. Just amazing. And of course, you know, you had the um, Italian Alps too, over there, right next to there. I'm adding the Swiss cheese right now until that gets all melted. So yeah, um, mountains are just spectacular. And of course the lake. I'm going to add the tarragon, get some spice in there. Okay, now this is cheesy. <laughs> This is beautiful, actually. Um, now, it's funny because it kind of resembles a fondue. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. You know, I had a second thought. I was thinking, oh, gee, I should have done, I should have done fondue. But, you know, I want to save that for the fondue show, oh, right? The fondue show, right. But check this out. Oh, yeah. Right? So we want to put that over the chicken. I mean, you can you can imagine what this is going to be like, right? Oh, I, I'm feeling it already. I know it. Oh, goodness. So when so you're what? eating this, you want so to make sure... You don't have it three times a week. Right. Because, oh boy, this is heavy. Um, <laughs> yeah. Even though cheese is good for you. Absolutely. You have to be careful. Oh, just like anything. Everything's moderation. Yeah. So uh, uh, Bob, who's uh, running the helm for us, keeping the show on the air. Uh, gave us a couple fun facts of uh, of uh, Switzerland. Uh, yodel banking in Heidi. Remember Heidi? They even have Heidi Land. 
since uh, 1881, <laughs> since uh, Joanna Spy uh, published Heidi or Years of Wandering and Learning. Um, so, you know, everyone thinks of Heidi, they think of Switzerland. All Very nice. Fun, all these fun facts coming up. I have this butter here. I'm just going to mix it in with the breadcrumbs. It's kind of congealed because I kind of wanted to make a paste yeah. of it. So I melted the butter a little beforehand and it got a little congealed. And these are plain breadcrumbs because you don't want to take away from the sauce. And then uh, going to put this on top. This is <laughs> okay. Don't be saying this is like a heart attack waiting to happen. Okay. Well, it's funny because uh, I'm, I'm reading up a third of all deaths are from heart disease in Switzerland. <laughs> and uh, yeah, but it, it did go down 20 years ago. Um, so uh, here you have it. Sorry for the interruption. It's yeah. going in the oven. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> yes, I can't wait. How long, how long does it sit in the oven for? Um, okay, so because it's a 425 degree oven, I'm going to say 20 minutes. I'm going to say 20 minutes is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Since we have 22 left of the show. <laughs> Rolling right along, right? Rolling right along. Right. You keep keeping it moving. Keeping it moving. So the next and last dish I'm going to make is the Swiss green salad. Now talk about simple, right? Yeah, yeah. Baby spinach, four hard boiled eggs, two scallions. Then for the dressing, I have two tablespoons of mayonnaise a quarter cup of vinegar, white wine, a half a cup of olive oil, one small garlic clove chopped. And of course, you can't have dressing without Dijon mustard. So I'm a teaspoon you. of that. I'm with you on that. Yeah, so I'm going to quarter the eggs. Actually, I'm gonna leave them halved. I'm not gonna quarter them. I'm going to leave them halved and uh, because I think they, they hold together better. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. And there you go. And you know, when you're traipsing around those mountains and those lakes, right? Um, something simple, but delicious. And then you sprinkle the scallions all around. And then <laughs> my trusty little, little thing here. Wonderful. Add all the salad ingredients. And it helps to have a spoon around so you can throw everything in here. So this is gonna be somewhat creamy because of the mayonnaise and the Dijon mustard. My boss makes fun of me when he hears me uh, pronounce mustard, mustard. <laughs> mustard, yeah, <laughs> mustard. mustard. Yeah, I always say it with an eye instead of the uh, yeah. <laughs> well, you know what, city kids, right? Yeah, yeah. That's that's what it busted. Okay, so I'm going to pray this doesn't <laughs> come undone. But you can see it's a it's a nice creamy sure. dressing. Perfect for that. Yeah. And um, I am going to drizzle this over here because Look at that. Oh, it's perfect. Isn't that nice? I want the flavors to start to marinate and meld with the spinach 
and the eggs. So this is light enough. If you're traipsing around Switzerland, Lake Lucerne, wherever, uh, you can have this and get back out on the trails and not feel so bogged down. So bloated, yeah, that's great. Okay, now, now, what's a dinner without a little Swiss miss? <laughs> and look, I have the perfect cup to put it in. Perfect size right there. Right there. <laughs> I had my Swiss miss this morning. There you go. So, okay, while that's brewing, <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking this out because I could really have a glass of wine. Sure. This is from Switzerland. And this is Alpine Roots. And it is from Valais, Switzerland's most prized grape growing region there in the go. heart of the Alps. That's amazing. So this year, I'm assuming you go with a white? Yes. Yep. Going to pour that. Did you know that uh, in Switzerland, it is very affordable for university? I believe I saw that, yes. It is uh, for a semester. It is uh, 500 Swiss francs a semester. So 1,000 Swiss francs for a single academic year. A thousand Swiss francs is eleven $1 hundred U.S. dollars. Not bad. Yeah, is that something? <laughs> oh my goodness! And one of my favorite, one of my favorite facts over there is uh, they, the private gun ownership. They have lots and lots of guns, but they also have the lowest crime rate. Yes. And of course you have the lowest crime rate because everyone's got a gun. You gotta rob somebody that's fucking <laughs> have a gun on them, you know? Nobody dares to break into a house or anything. That's right. I think that's, that's right. I think that is uh that is a fantastic little fun fact. Um and do you see animals have rights? Oh yeah, I was just reading that. They love animals. They do. And, and oh so you got to be careful with animals because they are also taxed. You know, we pay license fees here, but they're taxed. And um, it says the rules that go with the dog, they're very animal loving. Your dog is allowed with you practically everywhere. Dinner, restaurants, while you shop. Uh, dog owning rules include they must be able to exercise and have daily contact with humans. I think it's a great, great, great law. It's outstanding. Yeah. And they microchip every dog as well. Yep. yep. And there's Sundays. This is what I love about, this is why I would want to spend uh, a couple of weeks there because Sundays are sacred. You don't do nothing. You don't hammer a nail on your house. You don't mow your lawn. You don't do anything. They Nothing disturbs the peace. It's frowned upon to work on Sundays. So they say just sit back and read a book. Don't make yep. any noise. Do not disturb your neighbors. Yeah. I mean, yep. you know what? It's like, I mean, you know, your neighbors, you can reach out and touch each other. And, you know, there's sometimes Sunday morning, they spark up that leaf blower or whatever. And, you know, they could just wait a few hours or not do it. But, you know, look at the way we work. You know, everyone's working all the time and, you know, maybe Sunday morning's the only chance you get to do work on your house. Right. But right. Uh, what a fantastic place. Oh, and I guess th that's like a number one place uh, for hot air balloon festivals. That's right. So small <laughs> in all the mountains, uh, hot air uh -huh. balloon. They have tons of them. And uh, they're one of the smartest countries for math and science. You just have to watch out for those mountain peaks when you're up there in the hot air balloons. Yeah, yeah, you have I to guess. stay clear of those. <laughs> oh, they get the highest railway railway station in Switzerland, and and the highest set of steps. Yes, as a matter of fact, I'm going <laughs> to show. I just I just saw the picture as you said that, yep. and there it is. Yep, there you go. 
Is that yeah, crazy? I'd, I'd, I'd take the cog railway instead of the stairs. Yeah, yes. I think so. <laughs> I think so. But Definitely. it's incredible. And it has the longest tunnel in the world, the Goth the Gotham Tunnel, uh, which is amazing. Uh, 57 kilometers in length. Uh, and it's, what is it? It's longer than the uh, English Channel Tunnel between England and France. And, you know, they're so efficient over there. They're not like, let's say, Massachusetts. I spent about 10 years riding the commuter rail into Boston. And let me tell you, it's not a picnic. Not a picnic. And when you're over there, no matter what country you're in, you see how proficient they run. Yeah. Makes you wonder. So so why can't we do it? I know. And, and you know that that's the home of the Red Cross. Yes. You know, they're founded in Geneva, the Red flag Cross. Flag behind you. Yeah, which this is the Switzerland flag. The uh as a matter of fact. Oh, isn't that funny? Because this, I'm thinking Red Cross. Well, <clears throat> and, right. and it's really the White Cross. The red, yeah, the Red Cross yeah. is is just the yeah. reverse yep. of the yep. Switzerland flag because that's where it was started. Uh, it was founded in 1863 in Geneva. Yep. So it's 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 a smart country, very eco friendly. Let's, let's not forget watches. Yep, you got the. Uh, <laughs> you must be. It's like you're almost looking at my screen. Watches. Well, you know my my go. watch over here. It's yep, uh, you have a swatch right there. Yep, uh, yep, and the, chocolate. uh, the chocolates, and uh, you know, you know, what's not on there is a Swiss Army knife. That's true, that is true. This is railway station. Ooh. Uh, where's the oh, uh, yeah. boy, you know, I'm gonna take a sip of wine while I can. Yeah, I tell you, oh, four out of five of the most expensive cities for coffee as are in Switzerland. So, if you want yes, the most big expensive. On coffee. <laughs> in the meat, the meat is ex most expensive in the world. I'm going to tell you, with the exception of England, and England's come a long way, culinary wise. The food's amazing, just amazing. And when I do a show on London, you'll uh, you'll see what I mean. Yeah. They yeah. get the they get low unemployment rates and they get the highest salary and job security. So it's they're so doing this, something right is, over is there. This, is this where we're now headed, Mike? I tell you, we we should we should have been headed this way a long time ago. And I said this, I said this in the eighties when I was in high school, is we should have started like kind of wanted to do the metric system. We should have done the metric system like the rest of the world. Yeah. We are so far behind, still using tablespoons and inches, and and it's you know you figure in a quarter cup, a quarter of this, or a fifth of this, and eighth of that. When everything else is so much simpler because it's all done in tenths. Yep. It's, it's just so much simpler, and we, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> the closest we came to it is uh, is uh, sodas coming at two liters and one liter bottles. Yeah, that's, the, there you go. that's the closest thing that we have uh, that uh, made it from the metric system. It's just yeah. so much easier to do. And, and it's true. I still, when I'm, when I'm traveling and I see those signs, I still have no idea <laughs> what they're talking about. Yeah. And you have to convert it. It's, it's like, yeah, ugh. that's great. So, Let's see, we got about uh we've got about 10 yeah. minutes. I'm gonna leave everything in the oven for another five minutes. I'll bring it out. Eight, yeah, we got seven minutes left on, on the uh, chicken. Yeah, yeah. So now uh let's talk about now a lot of people know and I, I think I put it on our website what uh, some of our future shows are gonna be. And uh do you remember uh oh you know I like to keep secrets. Oh, I know that, but you want to? <laughs> I want you to. I want you to tease them. All right, so, all right. I'll so, tell like, a little it, bit about our next show. So, when we coming back on the twenty fifth? Yes. Yeah, yes. Going it's someplace a little bit warmer. Warmer. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's warmer. Warmer. With two different types of countries in one yes very good that that was good because i was gonna i was gonna throw in a little tropical but it's not so much tropical but 
yes, that, that's a great description. So yes. we'll leave it at that. So yes. we get some great food. Uh, going to be coming for you there. You'll learn about that probably. Uh, oh, what, what, what do we put? We, we put it out like on Monday or Tuesday before we air. I uh, load up the menu ahead of time. I the- think so. Yep. So I you can check so. out check out this show and many past shows on uh, on Terry's uh, page. It's called uh, hcam.tv slash the gathering. All these shows are on here. It's a YouTube playlist. And if you look down in the description portion right below our video, you're going to see the entire menu and recipe. Not just the uh, recipe. I'm sorry, not just the ingredients, but all, all the uh, directions on how to cook and prepare everything ahead of time. And of course, we'd love to hear from you if you have any questions or an idea for a show you want to see uh, Terry cook something up, just send me an email, mike at hcam.tv, or just go uh, click on a link off the website and uh, just send an email along in and any questions you have, especially if you have a question on uh, some ingredients or, you know, maybe you want substitutions or you had a question on, uh, you know, something about oven temperatures, whatever. You know, we'll get it to Terry and Terry will answer you. How's that sound? I think it sounds great. Absolutely. Because we're going to be hitting a lot of places, a lot yeah. of places. It, and, it, like, like you said, your travel wasn't just outside the country. You're also talking about here in the States, too. Absolutely. So maybe, maybe we'll see something from uh, from a neighboring state or, oh you know. Oh, my something. goodness. You know, you look, you look at the states I've been and, okay, California. Now, oh, my God up and down, right? Up and down and in the middle. I mean, you, you've you got your Northern California, you've got your San Francisco, you've got LA, you've got San Diego, and each one, I mean, they're different. They're, they're each known for their own cuisine. So that's, that's gonna be fun, but I'm not going to do anything in order. I'm gonna be bouncing all over the place. Sure. Well, that's what you want because, you know, we also have special things like, uh, oh, I don't know, March is this little kind of holiday in the middle. And, you know, oh, yes. May has a holiday like at the beginning and, you know, all those things. So, uh, yeah, I think you, I, I think you try Ooh, to make look at your, this. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Nice, huh? And then we have. Yeah, this oh, is look at this. tomato tartar. Oh, I bet that gin. smells fantastic. I, <laughs> I wish I could smell that right now. I'll tell you, this is uh these are beautiful. Oh my goodness. Um and I could invert this, but I have a feeling. It might just <laughs> go all over. Yeah. Go all over. I mean, I could do it. I don't um, know. Hey, it's your show. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> you see my face? I know that. <laughs> oh, let's see what I can do. Okay, this should be fun. Okay, but if it's it <laughs> <laughs> we all know this kind of falls under the bakery uh, under the baking because yeah this is going to go all over the place but it's okay you'll see how pretty it is oh yeah uh, this actually be- it's supposed to sit for five minutes all right well you know we got we got four and a half Let's and you know what honestly i don't even know if that that will help <laughs> you never know but you know what let's, you know? Let's, let's give it a try we'll we'll, we'll, we'll give it three minutes what you know what's the show Whatever it is, you know it's going to be delicious. If it's, it's all fantastic. over the plate, it's not going to matter, right? But how's that? How's that chicken? That is something else. That looks like it can feed twenty people. Oh, those are big, that's those big. Those are big breasts. Yeah, they are. <laughs> and you didn't hear that from me. I did not hear that from you. Yes, <laughs> you absolutely. Did not hear that from I've, me. I've been trying to hold that one back the whole time. <laughs> Here's to H cam because I'm still drinking. <laughs> <laughs> so and, now, I, and I had to get the toast in. <laughs> right. So now here you get that that salad. It's it's just so simple and and I can't imagine 
how good that dressing tastes because I've got to, I, I saved that. I did print that out for myself to make some to bring to work tomorrow. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to try that uh, tomorrow. I'm going to try, I'm going to get a, uh, uh, what was it called? The sweet leaf, sweet leaf lettuce, or I'm going to get the small lettuce and I'm going to do the spinach. Yep. Baby spinach. In the yep. baby spinach. Yeah. And yep. I'm going to try that out uh, tomorrow at work. I'm looking forward to that. So all this here, boom, under an hour. Yeah. You made it prep time and everything. I mean, you did yep. cook the tomatoes for a couple hours ahead yep. of time, but we could have done that uh, today. So without that, the tomato, yeah, <laughs> you're ready to flip that sucker. You going to do it? I'm going to do it. Oh. <laughs> well, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you nailed it. Say, so do you could? If you build it, they will come. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> now I'm glad I did it. <laughs> that is go. awesome. Look at that. Look at that. And you see, keeping them whole, it's just a really nice presentation. You sure can quarter is. them and put them in designs, but I like them whole. I, I think that's great, just like that. Yeah, yeah. That is perfect. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, so, so you'd probably have to give that a little bit to cool down anyways before you even dug into it, so. Yeah, yeah. But you see the crust is on the bottom. Yeah. So you can see how they made the mistake, how she made the mistake. <laughs> <laughs> because she wasn't too bright. But it really uh, took off and people loved it. So, and this is a perfect dinner. I tell you, I'm feeling all nice and warm. I'm feeling a lot warmer now that I see the steam rising <laughs> off of that. And, and look at that nice cheesy chicken. Oh, yeah. that, that is great. Well, Terry, you did it again. Woohoo! You did it again. <laughs> this, is, this was great. So, um, so we're going to see you in two weeks and we're back again for a little bit. So we're going to, Keep checking back here uh, Thursdays at 7 after the news. Um, so two weeks, we'll be back with that next show that uh, from a different part of the world. Sounds so, wonderful. All right, Thank Terry, you all you... for joining, and we look forward to seeing you for upcoming travels. Have a great two weeks. All right, Terry, we'll see you. Thanks again. Here's stage, Cam. Woo!